beautiful sunny Portugal plays host to the world's best surfers the, boat, the men's and women's championship tours along with the World Surf League's qualifying series running events here in sunny Portugal France it's all part of the action over the next six weeks a big heat coming up next Tana Hendrickson Ian Gouveia Carlos Monez and Rafael Teixeira make up your four in the lineup here in Ginshu over a hundred aspiring surfers looking for points US 10,000 and Tanner Hendrickson will be up and down very quickly there as he gets his campaign underway look out for Ian Gouveia your surfer in red he is a championship tour surfer of 2017 yeah I'll tell you what it's uh it's tough on the tour here we go and it's tough on the tour because there are hungry surfers like Rafael Teixeira who are happy to stick it to you you see the backhand attack nice little swivel there Sport is our sport of surfing. It's not at Safi, is it? It's at Casablanca. Right. Ian Gouveia, championship tour surfer. Down the line. Nice rip. There's always so much form and structure to the way championship tour surfers stand out from a lot of the qualifying series pack. And Ian Gouveia gets his first opener all the way down to the little junction point there. He'll just chip it. He was a very tough competitor and uh, he had a good solid game, real low centre of gravity. He's a natural footer, so uh, his dad would be cringing that his son is goofy. <laughs> <laughs> but solid surfing, you know, you talk about the form of the CT guys, gigs, it's, you know, just a little bit more polished, you know, a little bit less erratic and I suppose that time surfing those perfect waves and you, you look at his, uh, you look at his results, I mean, he's down in 27th. It's not, it's not indicative of how good this kid surfed this year. Yeah. I mean, he's competed well. He's surfed really. He surfed incredible at, uh, at cloud break. Took down Owen Wright in some big eight to ten foot cloud break conditions. This man with a lesser haircut this year, Carlos Munoz, had a big afro to uh, sport around over the last few seasons. He's trimmed it down. Californians love slipping down to Costa Rica. Here we go, Tanner Hendrickson, looking a little awkward. Second spill for the talented Hawaiian. I thought it was one of those uh, fads that would come in and, and go out, but uh, no, it's here to stay. Wasn't a fad. You no. loved surfing above the Lipton New Pots. As we see Carlos Monez here, wave number two, big hit, oh. overspill, throwaway score, and uh, was just that form that we see Jesse Mendes in this year. I mean, that's just another whole story about consistency. As we see the, a lovely unleashing oh. here by Rafael Teixeira. Well, that's going to do wonders for his situation. It's all about the top two. What are we thinking it's worth? Oh, I'm sort of thinking in that four to five point range, Giggs. What? One solid maneuver. So that's, we've seen, you know, four, four, no, no sort of more than five points for single, single turns. Single maneuvers, yeah. Judges are welcoming the progression aspect of the criteria. Carlos Munoz is back to work. Nice combination combination of maneuvers an important part of the judging criteria and searching for a good score tight hit though no one's really taking the ball by the horns and finishing a little bit off balance on that last maneuver but it's going to go into his top two it's currently in third looking just for a 2.04 so we will see him slide up into that top two just kicking the fins out the back and uh, finishing off a nice little way there for carlos now we're watching Ian Gouveia. Gets the first hit. Lovely rail flow from the Brazilian. Upside down to crack it. And he'll step off nicely saying thank you very much. I'll add that to my 617 of earlier. Meanwhile, Tanner Hendrickson, slow start, but now good flow from the Maui guy. Nice combination. And everyone busy here with a good set, offering lots of waves for the judging panel to break down. Pivots and swivels oh. from Rafi Teixeira. Oh, no. Previous to that, Potts, a 4.1, just for that one little sparky forehand turn. Yep. Now. Let's have a look at Rafi's wave. Nice opening turn. Beautiful style. Right. Connecting. And then... Another big snap. I mean, this is a great wave, and then goes down at the end. Just mistimed that. So, 
We're going to see a big score from him. And here we go. Surfing green. This is Tanner. Nice big jam in the pocket. A beautiful searing maneuver. Nice wide, solid stance as he goes up and over the lip there. So that was a good effort. That's going to, I mean, that's going to do wonders for his situation. Just sitting on a 1.5. Halfway through the heat, though. So basically his heat starts now. Good stuff. What's that? A Xanadu board underneath his feet? Looks like, like it, yep. Here's the replay of Yen Gouvet. Judges still working on all these scores for us. Yeah, a lot of action. So judges playing catch up at the moment. Nice solid surfing from Yen Gouvet. And there's this vertical bang upside down. The body position on that was amazing. Judges are going to love it. Third place surf and he's just a 2.7. And Carlos Munoz is writing the story as well here. Yeah, let's have a look at Tanner's wave. Uh, this is one of the best scores of the day, really, that we've seen. 8.33 on this occasion. Nice solid surfing from Tanner. Best number thus far. Ian Gouveia, heat leader, will just punt it around. Nice little jump back to stance. And around the corner. Tanner Hendrickson has an 8.33 and holding a 1.5 in his scoreline. So expect a big reshuffle of the heat in a, the next few minutes. He has the second place surfer that's going to want to defend anything that Hendrickson has to offer. Rafi Teixeira unleashes again. Effortless as he goes over the white water sections. Oh. And as I say that, little front foot slip. Yagadora is very close to conf confirmation. But hundreds of hungry surfers lie in the wait here. One of them is Tanner Hendrickson, who is now going to be climbing the... Oh. Ooh. I was going to say climbing the order of the heat, but he tried to climb the white water and he got stuck with it. Yeah, you can't afford those kind of little mistakes. There's Tanner's last ride. It's enough to get him up into that first spot, Giggs. Well, wide open enough for a new heat leader. Let's have a look at the surfer that's been bumped down to third place here. Rafael Teixeira will start surfing with more oh, urgency. No. And he's going to start making these little errors if he doesn't just keep a calm approach to the back nine minutes here, Potts. See your top left of screen, Carlos Munez. He's going to lose that little number two number. Meanwhile, Tanner Hendrickson back in gear here, your heat leader. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, try to get away from the equipment there. We saw Rosa and his medical crew here. Yeah, this is why I've stopped doing airs. <laughs> <laughs> because of moments like this where you're trying to get away Ooh. from your board. And that thing is a weapon, let me tell you. So if you can land, if you land wrong, it's... Because I'm actually, ex if I... It happens that I don't qualify. I'm actually excited to do some big trips next year, or just fun trips, chase waves, go to Indo. So. I love that you're not phased by the pressure, but how do you deal with those nerves? It must be, you know, you're so competitive, so how do you deal with the nerves? Yeah, I mean, the first half of the year, I, I couldn't, it was, it was too much. You know, I'm such a competitive person. And, you know, I've realized that if I requalify or if I don't requalify, it's not that big of a deal. You know, I still have many years, and uh, I'm trying to enjoy it more. I love the relaxed, focused approach. Back to you guys. Well, thanks, Rosie. Carlos Munez doesn't have that relaxed approach. He wants to get through this heat. He's stuck into it, you know, and, and dig deep because it's not over yet. Well, it's the home territory for Leonardo Ferravante. It's uh, not home territory for Ian Gouveia. And he'll be making good of this year. Currently in second in the heat. Yeah, needs a score. Needs a score. Needs a 6 8 4 as we see him glide down the line here. We watched him do this all the way to the semi finals this time last year, Potts. A nice little air reverse, but is it going to be enough to better his 5.73? Or was that the 5.73? I think it might have been. Carlos up and running. Currently down in fourth spot. He was in first for a little bit. Through the lip there, finishing strong. So Carlos needing a 5.97. So Ian Gouveia in the hot seat. That was Ian Gouveia trying to build a little buffer there. Big score just about to drop for Carlos Menez. Meanwhile, oh, ooh, little stumble over the outside rail. And judges filtering in that score for last of blue, Carlos Munez from Costa Rica. Here's your heat leader, Tanner right. Hendrickson. Nice approach. Whoops, little stumble. Regroup again. He's going to stick with it. Definition there for the cutback. Now a little jam. Carlos Munez is about to drop another good, good score and get himself up into that top two. Munez is winding it nice and tight now. 2.45 on the clock as he flows down the line. And this could be his best backhand effort of the heat. The judge is working on the previous score. And he's brought us two numbers to uh, really chew on here with uh, not a lot of time left. And I think it's going to maybe serve Carlos Munez quite well. Let's have a look at the replay from, uh, from Tanner. Bangs it off the top. Stumbles a little bit, but then recovers nicely. 
Straight into another turn, and then this turn right here. Bang! Throws a lot of spray out the back. Judges loved it. 6.9. Wow. They bought into it. And then this way right here, this was uh, a score that's just about to lock in for Carlos. Big backside snap. What's the vertical turn right here? Gets that board oh. nice and vertical. So we're, we're waiting for two solid scores for, for young Carlos to get locked in. Ian Gave is going to feel the pressure of it, and so will this man here, Rafael Teixeira, third place surfer. He's got to find himself a nice number, and he's got to go into the very good category here. Whipping it. Complex section at the end, and it's going to buck him off. Solos Munez is up to second place, care of a 7.1, now still waiting on another number. And it could just... Uh, there it is. Goni's top two. So his top two scores right at the end for Carlos Munez has him jump up to second place. Ian Gavea, championship tur surfer in the trouble zone here. It's going to wow. be an official result. How was that for a little rush at the end? But good work from Tanner Hendrickson. Takes the win. Carlos Munez from fourth up to second. <laughs> it's at the expense of Ian Gavea and Rafael Teixeira. And that was a great little display in the beach break conditions here. Yeah, absolutely. 7.10 and a 6.3, four threes to, uh, to get himself back into that top two and move through. What a heat.